Good morning, everyone. As Anne has just demonstrated, one of the themes that we have for this year's Rubicon uh, is the word intersectionality. It is a long word, uh, and it is a phrase or concept that might be unfamiliar to, to some of you. Uh, to introduce the concept, what I'd like to do is to adapt uh, a practice uh, first used by the woman who uh, coined the phrase intersectionality, Professor Kimberly uh, Crenshaw. So, those of you that are able, could you please uh, stand up? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to name uh, a series of names. And if you uh, hear a name that you do not recognize, where you can't tell me anything about the person, I'd like you to sit back down and I'd like you to remain seated. Is that okay? So, let's start. Billy Graham, N.T. Wright, Richard Rohr, Rob Bell. Okay, a few non-denominational people there not knowing the Catholic, that's okay. <laughs> I'll continue. Dolores Williams. Grace G. Sun Kim. Marcella Alhouse Reed. And last but not least, Nancy Iceland. So those of you who recognized the first group of authors could have the slide, will recognize that these are straight, white men who are famous theologians and Christian thinkers. The second group of names that were less familiar to this audience are also Christian theologians and thinkers, but they are people whose life experience might be different to many of our own. They are theologians who are of different races, who are our women, some of whom are bisexual, and some of whom are disabled. Now, the purpose of the exercise is not to show that I read more diverse authors than you. <laughs> the purpose of the exercise is designed to encourage us, to encourage us, uh, those among us who follow Christ, and to encourage all of us who claim to care for the least among us, to embrace a shared responsibility, the responsibility to inform ourselves about how people who are different than us experience the words, practices, and beliefs of Christians and how they experience Irish society today. What is it like to be a woman in the Irish church, to be a person of color, to be a person who identifies as queer, to be a person who is disabled, to be some or all of these things? I use the following graphic uh, when I teach first-year law students uh, in DCU to demonstrate that discrimination occurs in a variety of ways and that social justice problems can often intersect and interact with one another to compound the harms uh, that people might experience. Several years ago, Professor Kimberly Crenshaw used the phrase intersectionality to speak about that experience of cross-cutting forms uh, of harm to demonstrate that many of our social justice problems, uh, like sexism or racism, are often overlapping, creating multiple forms of social injustice. In a recent TED talk, she asked an audience like this to stand, and she read out a list of names like I did. All of the names were victims who were killed through police violence and brutality uh, in the United States. Some of the names that were recognized were of African American men, but the names that were not recognized were those of African-American women who had been killed through police violence and brutality. Professor Crenshaw concludes, if we cannot see a problem, we cannot fix a problem. And so today's Rubicon hopes to encourage you to see the range of ways in which individuals can experience their identity and how the intersections of those identity and Christianity can all be included, as Anne said, in the body of Christ. We are so glad that you have made the decision to come here today, as we will hear from members of our community and from guests from further afield who can help us name the problems that are facing our church and society today, and together we can begin to fix them. Welcome to Rubicon. <laughs>